Hi everyone, Talia from Zart Art. Today we're going to be making a air drying paper clay cactus using a simple armature. So what we're going to be using today is magic clay. So we'll be using a coloured magic clay to build our details and we'll just be making our armature out of aluminium foil. So what we'll be doing is creating a few different shapes for the cacti. So we'll have three different cacti in one pot. We're using aluminium foil for the armature and the reason we'll be using this is because it's nice and easy to manipulate. So if we just crunch it up, our first cacti will just be a simple ball shape. So what we'll do is just make a rough shape and then spread the magic clay over the top. This is so you don't waste too much magic clay, so it's not a solid ball of magic clay. Instead, you can save a lot of money and clay by just filling out that area with foil. And then we can add small details with either clay tools or different materials like wooden sticks work quite well because you don't have to get too complicated with the detail that you're adding. So now I've just got this green magic clay and you can spread it out quite thin just by pinching the sides. So you just need enough to cover the surface. So you don't need a thick layer because you'll just be wasting a lot of the clay by building it up too big. And you also don't wanna make it so big that it's not going to fit in the pot with the other pieces either. So just smooth it over that foil ball. You don't have to completely cover the underside either because that will be pressed down onto the pot so you won't see the underneath. So now we've got our simple little ball shape for the cactus and what I'm going to do is use this wooden stick to imprint some textures into it to make it look a bit more realistic. So just by moulding that over the top, I'm going to create those little divots to make it look somewhat more realistic. What you can do with the magic clay as well is if you just wanted to use the white version, you can colour in your pieces with either textures or watercolour paints or acrylic paints if you wanted the kids to explore some different colour making activities. Okay, there we go. We've got some nice lines coming out from that just to give it a little bit more texture. So now we're gonna add a little bit more detail to our little round cactus shape. So I'm just going to add a smaller, different colored ball on top. So we can use some brighter colors and create a bit more contrast. I'm not going to use any foil for this one because it's such a small piece of magic clay. It doesn't really need any padding out. So I'll just use the same technique as we did before. So just making these little ridges with a stick to create some interesting texture. And what's great about Magic Clay is that it has a mild adhesive in it, so you don't need to worry about blending techniques, which you would if you were using a natural clay. It'll just stick to itself by simply pressing onto the top. So that should stay as is. Okay, so we've got our first little piece there, and now we can move on to our second one. So I'm going to go for more of a long cylindrical shape. So we have some differences in the forms. So you can talk to your students about compositions as well as how the forms will look next to each other. Okay. So now we want the cylindrical shape. So I'll just roll the foil and just make sure that it will be thick enough, but you don't want it to be too thick. Otherwise, there won't be enough room for it in the pot. So I've just got my cylindrical form here. And if you do want it to be a bit shorter, you can always use your scissors to adjust the height. So if I compare it next to it, I probably want to chop a little bit off. And remember, whenever you're using an armature and you're putting something over the top, it's going to become quite a bit thicker. So what I'm going to do is just change the color of this green magic clay a little bit. That's just so we get a bit more contrast in the colors and not everything is the same shade of green. So if I mix this green with a little bit of white, we will get a lighter green. So 
now we've mixed a bit of a lighter green, so that will make a nice contrast with the other colours. We'll just wrap this around our armature. What you could also use is polystyrene shapes as well. So if you were doing something like this with the younger kids and they weren't very good at moulding shapes out of aluminium foil, then you can use pre-made shapes like polystyrene to do the same process. So now I'm just using some hand moulding techniques to pull out some of the magic clay and create some of that texture which you would find in different varieties of cacti. Okay, so now I've got the shape of our next one. So it's got some little ridges here, but it's just a simple cylindrical shape. And I'm just going to add some more color to it by making some orange dots. So mixing the magic clay together will create a orange. So your primary colors will create a secondary color. So I'll just make some orange here. And it's quite nice to work with because you can see the color change as you massage the clays into each other. Okay, now I have my orange and I'm just going to roll some very small circles and press them on. So we've got a little bit more texture and a little bit more color in our next So now we've got our second shape done. So when we put it together, you'll see what the composition will look like. And this may determine your third shape if you haven't already done a design for it already. So we've got our two there. And what you'll notice about Magic Clay is that the outside will start to dry before the inside does. So it'll kind of create a skin as it dries. So it'll take about an hour or so for it to develop that skin and to completely dry, it'll be quite a few hours. So you can still rework it a little bit, but if you do leave it too long, it will become a bit harder to manoeuvre. And now we'll move on to our third shape. Okay, so now our next shape will be more of a typical cacti shape. So again, we'll start with a cylinder, but then we'll add one of the curved arms to it as well. So we'll start with the foil and we'll wrap it around. So we probably want it to be about a similar height, maybe a little bit taller, so that should be okay. Just trim off a little bit. And then we'll add the arm as well. So we'll need a bit less foil for the arm shape. And you can just mold it as you're crushing the foil down. And remember, you don't want it to be too thick because the magic clay will go over the top and thicken it as well. And we want a little bit to wrap around. We want a little bit to wrap around the cylindrical form just so it stays in place. So then we've got a little arm shape on top of the cylinder. So as long as you have a rough idea of where it's being placed, and the magic clay will fill out the rest of the area. So now again, I'm going to mix a slightly different green color just so it doesn't look all the same in tone. So I add a little bit more yellow to this and you can play with the colors a little bit as well. So if you do mix a color and it's not exactly the shade that you want, you can always add in a different color or even use a marker to add color into that as well.
So once you've just roughly covered the foil, what you can do is add more magic clay to areas which you want to pat out with a bit more thickness. So I can see there are certain parts where I'd like it to be thicker. So if I just add more magic clay to that area, then it'll make it look like a nicer, more even form. Now using a similar technique to the first piece, we're just making some imprints into this cactus with the wooden tool, but you could use clay tools or other tools to stamp or press in some textures as well. So I'm going to add a little flower on top of this one just so we can add another colour to it. So we've got the nice different tones of green and we've also got our warm colours with it as well. So I'm just going to mix a lighter pink. Make sure our magic clay doesn't dry out. Just keep putting the lids back on the colours that you're not using. Now we're going to make a pretty intricate flower here. I'm just going to start off by squishing a coil shape and then rolling it. So we've got the inside of the flower and I'm going to make the petals. So just by rolling a ball, squishing it in between your fingers. So that will be one petal and you get the little details of your fingerprints on there as well to create a bit of texture. So with your individual petals, you can just press them onto the center of the flower. And when you put a few together, it makes quite a nice shape. So we can gently add this on to our cactus. So you don't want to press too hard otherwise you'll ruin the shape of the magic clay. So if you just press it on firmly enough, it will stick by itself. What you could also do is make it separately and then glue it on later if your kids are a little bit heavy handed with it. But if you just give it a little press, it should stay on by itself. Okay, so now we've got our three pieces completed and all we need to do is put it into our pot. So depending on how long you want this lesson to span or what level your kids are at, you could create your own clay pots. You could um, cast them out of cement as well. Otherwise, we've just got this pre-made porcelain pot and it's just decorated with porcelain markers. So you could extend it by decorating the pot itself. Otherwise, you could just have a plain one to use. So what we're going to do is just fill a majority with the pot. Is just fill a majority of the pot with uh, foil so you don't need to crush it up too much so because no one's going to see what's at the bottom of this you can fill it with whatever you like so you could use paper you could use small stones just to give it a bit of height so what you could do with this is put some little pebbles on top if you want your cactus to sit in that what I'm going to use is off screen I'm going to use this modeling foam just to put on the top of the surface so it will look like it's either gravel or dirt. So you could use little rocks as well, or you could mix some brown magic clay if you wanted to, but it's pretty flexible with what you can use just for the surface. You don't need to use too much of this because it will just be sitting on top. So you can just thin it out as much as you need and just push it to the edges. So this is one of the metallic modeling foams. 
which has quite a nice colour and a nice shine to it. But it's a very similar consistency to Magic Clay. It's just a little bit stickier and if you can see it's got little polystyrene balls in it which give it a really fun sensory texture. But you can use it the same way as you would use Magic Clay and it dries in a very similar way as well. So it doesn't matter too much if it's not level, as long as it's a surface that you can place it on. So then we can just get an idea of where we'll be putting our pieces. So you might want to have a bit of a play with how you're placing them and a good idea to talk about composition with your kids. So you just want them to be evenly spaced in a nice arrangement. And the great thing about modelling foam too is that it has an adhesive in it as well. So if you put enough pressure onto it, it will stick by itself. If you did one too and your kids are a bit heavy handed, you could just use something like Super Tack or PVA on the bottom and just glue it down to keep it more secure. But as you can see, it's sticking pretty well by itself. But depending on how strong you need it to be, you might want to just reinforce it with a bit more glue. So there we have our really simple armature paper clay cactus pot. It's a really fun activity and it comes out with quite a good result. So really nice for display or even if you're putting it together as a group work or you could display it around the school. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to check out our other magic clay videos and we'll see you next week.